Hey everybody, welcome back to Ashley's Kitchen. Happy New Year's. Uh, we're going to be making today a really popular and delicious buffalo cauliflower wing. You say, buffalo cauliflower wing, what could that be? Believe it or not, this is going to taste like chicken wings when it's done. We've had these before, so we figured we'd share the experience with you guys. So, first thing you're going to need is a head of cauliflower from your local produce place, your cutting board, a nice sharp knife to cut through the cauliflower ring, two bowls, one for the batter and one for the sauce, the dipping sauce that you're going to roll it in. Okay, so the batter is going to be made out of this. Pepper, garlic powder, paprika, cumin salt almond milk and flour that's going to be the batter and then the sauce is very simple a vegan butter and a hot sauce and then the amount you make if you um make a smaller like a, you could cut that thing in half so let's say it's you and a, a friend or whatever we're making a whole head so you want to use the largest pan which is the 17 by 11 inch and Wilton is a really good brand that you want to use. We're going to spray it because your pan does get some wear from the barbecue sauce. If you want to keep it like this, make sure you use a nice olive oil spray. So what I'm first step is to cut up the head of cauliflower. So I'm going to do that first, and then I'll be right back to show you how to mix the batter and the sauce. And just remember, this is all vegan. All right. Hey, welcome back to Ashley's Kitchen. Uh, so we got the cauliflower all cut up. Remember, uh, you want to use a really sharp knife. We like to use the uh, German Henkel knives. They're really good, you know, with the solid. You know, they just cut through stuff, tough, tough stuff. The best way to cut cauliflower, if you've ever never done it, is there's a core in there. You take the point of the knife. I should have showed you this, but anyways, you just take the point of the knife and stick it in around. You'll see the core like an apple. And go like this with a sharp knife and all your florets will fall off and this is what you want you want like bite size florets of cauliflower and we've kind of trimmed it up a little bit you know sometimes you have that stem sticking out if you want it you can have it we particularly didn't want it so okay this bowl here we're going to mix our batter in and the batter you put all the ingredients in here and it is one cup of flour half a cup of water, half a cup of almond milk, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, a pinch of pepper, and a pinch of salt. And you're gonna whisk it all together. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna make the batter, get it all uh, uh, mixed up, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step, which is going to be coating them and putting them on our cookie sheet. Okay? Okay, so we're back. We got, uh, we got our sauce all mixed up. Okay, so this could be the messy part, but it could be not the messy part. Uh, we came up with an ingenious idea. Either use a slotted spoon like this, or some people have like older, wiry, these are for, made for deep frying. You know, and they make modern ones too. You know, so, so anyways, here you go. Take a group of them, throw them in there, mix them up, get them covered. Okay, see how they're covered? And then just pick them up. The reason you want the slotted spin, like, this is going to avoid the mess. Take a pair of tongs, place them on your cookie sheet. See that? So, this is the cookie sheet. As you can tell, we sprayed it down very well. Because after this, this is, these are going to come off of here, correct? They're going to come off of here, and then we're going to put them in the hot sauce. So, I'm going to finish all these, batter them all up. Um, as you can tell, like I said, to avoid the mess, you don't have to touch it with your hands or nothing. See how the sauce just comes right through because of the slide spoon? We're going to finish that. Our oven is preheating at 425 right now. 
and then we're gonna put them in the oven and then we're gonna show you how to mix the hot sauce all right so here we are back at Ashley's kitchen and there's the majority of them and then this is the rice and if you follow the recipe for one head of broccoli uh, cauliflower look it's just the right amount you want to have a nice coating and you can actually just then pour it right on your pan see that look everybody thinks oh deep frying it's a mess it's this or that it's not if you do it the right way it just use your head you know and there you go done no waste look at that you can uh, go to restaurants and you can get these they're probably like okay an appetizer seven dollars and you probably get like a little pile like that this cost us well the broccoli we actually got cauliflower. fresh from a farmer cauliflower the cauliflower sorry i keep saying because we're having broccoli too later on today i got the cauliflower from a farmer who like he uh stores it in a dry cellar in the uh fall and he sells it to me for a dollar a head okay so that's a dollar and then all the ingredients i might have two dollars wrapped up in this stuff right here so there we go whole pan 425 25 minutes in the oven it goes and we'll be back in 15 minutes because we have to flip them hey welcome back here we are we're getting closer to the final step they've been in there for 15 minutes this is what they look like so what you want to do is just take your tongs flip them over use a hot glove so I'm gonna flip all these over I'm gonna let them cook for another 10 minutes and then we're going to I'll be back to show you how to make the hot sauce okay so we got them all flipped we got like six minutes left on the oven in there so we're gonna make the hot sauce that they're gonna be baked in and it's um, smart balance is a great vegan butter we use it all the time so we're more expensive but it's worth it okay one tablespoon we already did that it's melted in there and then you can choose any kind of your favorite uh, wings buffalo sauce that you like we like Frank's because uh, my friend's name is Frank <laughs> uh, you don't own the company but anyways it's one cup of that pour that in there okay and take your whisk whisk it up now when our wings get done and six minutes I will be back to show you the final step of making these great buffalo cauliflower hot wings check with your local restaurant see if they're not on your appetizer menu thing if anybody hasn't had them you'd be like what how could they trust me they are awesome hey everybody welcome back here we are we got them done this is what they're gonna look like they're nice and see it nice crispy so what you want to do same process as with the batter basically you want to put a rag underneath here because this is hot keep it close just dump them in there don't be scared go ahead pile them in look at that okay we're going to move these ones down here take your slotted spoon stir them around get a nice coating on them I'll show you how to do one. Take it with your tongue. That's what you want it to look like. Okay. Just put it on your pan. So I'm going to do all these, and I'll be back to show me show you me putting them back in the oven again. All right. There we go. Look at that. Don't tell me those don't look good. And here's our pan. All of it was used. So the recipe is for the perfect amount for one head of cauliflower. So these go in the oven for 25 minutes. Do we flip them? No. No. 25 minutes. We'll be back to show you the finished product. Bon appetit. Okay, so we're a couple minutes away from pulling them out, but let's take a look. Now, do those not look like buffalo wings to you? And what do you not see on there? Grease. Slime. Crap. <laughs> They're vegan. Man, this is going to be awesome. We'll see you in a couple minutes. 
Okay, so here you go. Look at that. Wouldn't that be any nice addition to, you know, a company party, a kid's birthday party, uh, friends coming over, you know. And the good thing about these, you can eat all, you can eat the whole bowl yourself. What's the worst thing's gonna happen? Oh my God, I have all this cauliflower in my body. And then I wanna show you this real quick. Um, let me turn the oven off. That's important, you turn your oven off. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how do you turn it off? There we go. So, as I mentioned about the pan, this can be a very destructive uh, thing. Like, if, has anybody made uh, barbecue ribs, say barbecue whatever, in your uh, oven? The key is to spray it real good and use a good pan. This Welton makes a really good baking sheet. Look how easy the cleanup is. Watch this. La, la, la. Look. With a napkin. Okay, of course we're going to wash it, but I just wanted to show you. Look. Okay. You want to preserve these pans the best you can. Okay, another thing is don't use metal on metal. You might see me putting tongs, but don't like, oh, it's stuck. Get a rubber spatula and do it, okay? So the key is spray it good and use a quality pan. You can go to these stores and buy, oh, that one's 10 and this one's five. Buy the $10 one. It'll last five times longer, okay? This Teflon stuff is not good for your body and it'll get in your body and like, Ugh. so this is what you want in your body. Buffalo cauliflower hot wings, fresh from Ashley's kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy many to come.